All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one today. Now, you know, Blaze Blue got the rollback patch. A lot of new people are picking up the game, and unfortunately, I want to say if you've never played an anime game before, it's quite difficult. You know, and some of the guides are outdated or, or a bit too long. So today, I figured, you know what? Let me just teach you really simple. Let me give you a really general idea of my character, one of my mains, S. Why she's top tier, why she's so simple, and what you should be doing if you play her. If that sounds good to you. Hit that subscribe button and you know that's it that's the point let's get into it so before we get started i want to just say blaze was a very combo heavy game here i'm not going to teach you all the combos there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to combos too so find something that works for you you know watch some combo videos go to dust loop but in general let me just teach you why this character is so strong what you should be doing now the key buttons with her you know there's a lot of normals the ones you want to worry about this button this button is absolutely ignorant 6b right here this button is godlike on the ground this is probably your go-to button all the time not just as an anti-air. Ground normals, pretty standard stuff, but her air normals are what's so good, right? Her jump B. So jump B doesn't look like much, right? It doesn't look like much. Watch his range, ready? Jesus. Jesus. Gah! From that range, and it's two parts, so you can match it, right? So jump B is really good. Uh, her other jump normals, so her jump C. Again, look at the hitbox on that. It hits really low to the ground, and also it's an instant overhead, right? You can set up mix up like that. And then jump D. This move is uh, not just an Oki tool, but it's great as a cross-up. So doing something like that is really good. So those are her buttons that you want to press, right? Another really, really important part about her game is her fireball. She probably has the best fireball in the game. So her fireball, she's a, a fast one and a slow one. And she can do them back to back. So fast, 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 slow, slow, fast, slow, slow. But as you see, they have different properties, right? If you hit a slow one and then send one behind, it gets powered up. See? And it does a knockdown. That's good on its own, but wait, what makes this really crazy is you can do it in the air. So a big strategy with her is just going backwards and just shooting this angle, right? See how much screen that covers? You see how much is like space control she has right there? So with her, you definitely want to abuse the fireball, keep your distance, and then when they come to approach you, you know, 6B, keep them out, catch them here. Now, another thing that's really, really important when you play her is she has a power-up mode. So all of her specials right here are pretty good, but... What makes her really, really good is this. Ready? This is our power-up. It's just 214D. You get this little, I don't know what you want to call it, a seal, a crest. But always, 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 that should be your focus, is always getting this activated, and then you land the hit. So, like, zoning, get your power-up, and now you can really start being scary. So, for example, this move I showed earlier, the jump B, is not too scary on its own. But when you're powered up, you know, it leads, even though I dropped it right there, but it leads to this full combo the uh the dp right so this is the normal dp right nothing happens but powered up version you get that follow-up so even though i can't do it because i'm too busy watching and all this stuff here but all of her uh specials once powered up lead to combo right so see i can combo after that i can combo after that right so any anytime she hits you when she's powered up it's a full combo, and if you have optimal stuff, even without optimal stuff, it's still pretty scary. But if it's optimal, you can bring them to the corner and then set up the final thing that makes her really, really scary. It's her autopilot Oki. So the easiest, she has all sorts of different, like, Oki status, but the easiest one is just this. Jump D. So here, real quick. Right. Something like that. Right. So basically, you end your combo in something like jump C in the jump D. Right. Let's just go like this. And now you're on top of them. You're plus, and there's a time bomb. Puts them in a situation where they're like, oh crap. If I get hit, there's gonna be a combo. Now you can do like. Right, so like pop, 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 instant overhead. And now the bomb explodes. And again, you just bring them back here and da 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 da. So basically, it's stuff like that, right? Ending with the bomb, setting up the Oki, and, and that's it. So she's really good as like a neutral mid game character. She's good at lane with this. She becomes confirmed monster, high damage character when she's powered up. And then once you have combos and you can land your hit, she becomes like a corner Oki monster. So she's really good as a, I want to say like a standard character. The game has a lot of like, you know, Izanami and Nine, well, like Rachel, like characters that are really, really like gimmicky, really, really kind of specialized. But the thing that makes X S so good is that she's just well-rounded. She is very, very standard. She's like Jin. She can fight the entire cast, right? Probably no bad matchups, like no bad matchups. She might lose some matchups just 
out of like pure power, like character strength, but she has like no real weakness is what it feels like. So I'm gonna play just quick game here. I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing and you can see like everything I just showed you right now, I'm gonna be doing it in a match. It's gonna work, it's gonna be mad easy. Wow. All right, so here we go. We got a guy now. So again, I'm just gonna try and show what I showed before. You know, 6B, air normals, fireballs, uh, and staying in the power up. You know, I'm trying to stay in my powered up mode as much as possible. That was three times. You see, I did. You see, I went three times with 6B. I'm not joking when I said it was insane. And now jump D Oki, right? Power up activated. 6B. Instant overhead. No, he didn't die. I'm gonna use that jump B I talked about. I'm still gonna match on Jim B. If he jumps, right? Oh god. I'm out. Jump B! See that range? Did you see the range on that jump B? I didn't expect that to hit. But again, 6B jump B, right? 6B on the ground, jump B in the air. Fireballs are mad good. Now I got time to power up. The power, by the way. Oh, that was a big drop on his part. The power, by the way, goes away when you get hit. So if you get tagged, you gotta like regain it. Oki. He could have. He would have been dead if I did. Uh. Yeah, I need to. I'm keep mashing. Get away from me. Jumpy. Ah. You're gonna EA, right? No. Oh, I win. I win. I win. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we scrambling. We scrambling. We scrambling. But you see that her pressure is also really scary because when you. Her special moves get powered up. It's not just that she becomes a combo monster, but her block strings become a lot scary because a lot of them become plus or safe. Again, those normal man jump C like I said, and now corner combo. This is this one's probably too advanced for you guys. It's hard, but you can do simple ones. See, even though I dropped it, ah, I messed up the Oki. That was young IB God. He's gonna overdrive again. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. No? <laughs> this guy's just trolling. He just wanna land this. Ha ha! I troll right back. We do a little trolling. We do a little trolling right back. We do a little trolling too out here. I got stomped on though. I got stomped on. That was against uh, Hazama. You know, Hazama's a really, like, tricky character that can fly all the way around the screen. You know, he's got a, a ton of a ton of mobility, and, like, he's really, like, slippery. But again, because S's normals are so big that it's, like, throwing them out there can kind of shut down that runaway. So he, she's good against characters that run away. You saw me DPing a lot, so she's good against characters that rush you down, just having that. Pressure's crazy. She's just, she's a beast right there. So let's focus on the fireballs, right? Ah, I got greedy. I got greedy trying to, uh... Hey, hey, 6B, I told you! That's a tech trap. You can't roll. That's our Oki. Hey, hey, hey. Jump D again. No? Now nah, I'm gonna play lame, right? I'm alright. Oh, I thought I could block. If I did the second fireball, I could have blocked. I'm still gonna play lame. I'm still gonna play lame. Jump B! Jump B! 6B! This doesn't combo, but that's plus. Fireball. Nice match. Wow! The bravery on this man. He tried going fuzzy. Corner combo in the Oki. Blue beats, but we take those. And again, there's the Oki, right? It loops back into itself. 
And I'm got plus, right? Aw. Uh oh. He wanted he wanted my burst. I don't have it. See what I'm what I'm saying? Like neutral, she's good. Lame, long poke. Well, she gets started in the corner. Loops in the loops in the loops. It's not as crazy as some other characters, but it's just really solid. And again, right? Jump D. I'm gonna throw this time. Nice tech. Or OS, I don't know. Pop, pop, pop. And here comes the Oki. Instant overhead. Instant overhead. Oops, I messed up. I'm not afraid of you this time. All right, so there you go. You know, I feel like it's a decent summary, as I mentioned. Let's just get into it one more time, just to review here. Jump B, if you don't have to do in normal jump B, but again, make sure when you're doing jump B, you have this activated. So you can do jump B in the DP. You get the full combo, all right? 6B, this button is godlike. Again, it's really good if they're in the air or on the ground. Autopilot, if you're a new player, I just want to say do this every time, okay? This is actually not really good at high level, but as a newer player, just 6B into this every time. It's an auto confirm. It works if they're on the air or on the ground, but 6B, 214B, do it all the time right there. Jump C when you're approaching is really good. Jump D for cross-ups, like I said. You saw you saw me just murdering in the corner. Basically anything, make sure you end. Ta-da, there you go. Now once you have the bomb on, then you can do whatever you want, right? Even if you don't do anything, Having the bomb on top of them puts pressure on them, and that makes them like hold down back, and then you can go for it. instant overhead, fake low, delay overhead, anti jump throw, right? Anti jump throw bait. A lot of options, and when this is there, you know it's it's even scarier. Now for combos, Blaze was a game you need to learn everything, right? You got to learn anti air combo, your air to air confirm, your ground confirm, your corner combo. It's a lot to learn, but I want to say at the start, just keep it simple. The combos I'm doing now aren't even optimal. They're like intermediate, like high intermediate, but you can do really basic stuff with her. If you're still watching, I guess if you're still watching, you want to learn. Here, this is a really basic, her basic loop. Ready? This is basic loop. 3C, 5D, 3C, 5D, 3C, 5D, and then you end with the slash, right? So this works on a lot of different starters for her, but you see what I'm saying. That's a, that's a really good basic combo. You just do that all the time. It's got good corner carry, uh, and it'll let you power up at the end. So after you end that combo, go in your power up, and then you're scary and neutral. But that's it. That's why it's the top tier. All right. Hopefully this video helped you out. It'll give you a basic guide. You know, a lot of the Blazewood gods I feel like is just too much information, but not actually how to how to use it. So hopefully it'll help you out. Uh, if any other cast you want to see, let me know. Good familiarity with most of the cast there, so we'll, we'll see here. But uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. If you got any other questions about Blazewood, write up in the comments. I'm sure somebody can help you out, and hopefully. You guys are enjoying this game. It's a great game. And the rollback, finally, baby. We're finally, it's Blaze Blue era. Man. It's, you'd love to see it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.